Oh, hi, officer. Yeah, I saw the whole thing. This bright red Porsche came screaming round the corner, went through a red light. That old Fiesta was tootling up the street, minding its own business. When the Porsche ploughed right into the side of it, wham! It really was a mess. It's a wonder nobody got killed. That Porsche must have been going 60 miles an hour, weaving all over the road. Huh? You want me to be a what? Oh, no way. I can't witness. Witnessing's for other people. What other people? Well, you know, people who are cut out for that sort of thing. You know, people who could jump right up onto the witness stand and tell what happened. You've got to have a way with words, after all. You, you say I'm the only one who saw the accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but there must be plenty of other people who have seen other accidents. Maybe they didn't see this one, but that's not important, is it? I mean, I bet they could get right up there and tell the jury about their accidents. Wouldn't that be just as good? No. Well, look, this accident wasn't that spectacular. You know, get one of those guys, those other guys to testify. You know, one who's seen a really dramatic head-on collision. Or a high-speed police chase, you know, or a big motorway pile-up with lots of casualties. No jury would be interested in my story. They'd be bored to death. No, no, I couldn't witness. I'd freeze up when i just talk to one person, you know. What you need is my cousin Archie. Now that guy could talk to anybody about anything. He's taken classes in public speaking, salesmanship, how to win friends and... What? Well, of course Archie didn't see the accident, no. But he's a great speaker. Oh, come on. People would make fun of me. I'd get up there and I'd tell my story and some lawyer would make mincemeat out of my testimony. He'd say I didn't know what I was talking about. He'd say I was a hypocrite because I'd got a couple of speeding tickets myself. I'd be embarrassed in front of everybody. What? That wouldn't matter. The important thing is to just tell my story. Well, let's say just for a minute that I did manage to say a few words to a few people. I'd be a flop. I don't know anything about skid marks and velocity and all that. I couldn't even quote more than a couple of lines from the highway code. I didn't study that stuff at school. I'd be awful at witnessing. Another thing. What good would it do if I did testify? Nobody cares what I think. The two drivers have made up their minds already about who's to blame. I've never even met the jury. I'd have to spend years getting to know them before I could ever talk to them about something as personal as this accident. Huh? I am an expert on what happened just because I was the only one who saw it. I'll tell you what, I'll do something even better than witnessing. I'll print up a little pamphlet that talks about accidents and has lots of quotes from the highway code. Then you can stand on street corners and pass them out to people as they go by. No? Well, how about I pay someone to go onto the witness stand and testify for me? You know, maybe a whole bunch of us who don't want to witness could pool our money together. Oh, come on, officer. Give me a break. Why do you keep hassling me to witness? What? You see, I am a witness. But how can that be? I mean, isn't a witness somebody who tells about something? They're what? A person who witnesses something, sees it, is there when it happens, but that means that when I witnessed the accident, I became a, a witness. Oh, see, officer, I don't suppose we could forget the whole thing, could we? Oh, somehow I knew you'd say that.